गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी हाउ टू राइट नोटिस इट मीन्स द चैप्टर इज नोटिस राइटिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस ट्राई टू नो वट इज अ नोटिस अ नोटिस इज अ रिटर्न और प्रिंटेड अनाउंसमेंट एग्जाम्पल अ नोटिस फॉर सेल इट इज रिटर्न इन ऑर्डर टू इन्फॉर्म अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल about something that has happened or is about to happen it could be an upcoming event competition lost and found notice or just a piece of information to be delivered to the targeted audience it is generally written in a formal tone notices are factual and to the point the language used is simple and formal not flowery language flowery means here decorative they are put up on display boards in schools or at public places let us discuss how to write a notice in english as a question on notice writing is a part of english writing skills for classes 6 to 12 the cbc has prescribed a format of notice writing to be followed by students the format of notice writing is as follows format of notice writing dear students the format of a notice should include name of the institution issuing authority or then notice title date and writer's name with designation a notice should contain all the necessary details such as name of the issuing agency it means school etc date of issue or release of the notice title it means subject of the event it means what about we are going to write body body means here main body main content of the notice date time duration place venue when and where it means authorized signatory name and signature or contact details in this format we can use first of all in the center name of the issuing agency or authority then notice date of issue or release of the notice then title or subject of the event then body means main body of the uh, notice in which we have to mention also date time duration place or venue after that completing the main content uh, we have to write authorized signatory name designation and signature Uh, now dear students uh, let us have some notice writing tips a notice can be written for various regions the format of notice remains the same in all cases here is a list of topics for notice writing that students must prepare number 1 is a competition number 2 an excursion trip third a lost and found notice an inauguration to take place and fifth is an exhibition six a blood donation camp to be held or any such type of event or information to be issued in public interest so such kinds of uh, notices we can write further let us try to know what is the marking scheme for notice writing first of all format format stands for one mark content for two marks expression for one mark total four marks dear students uh, notice writing tips please follow the given tips while attempting a question based on notice writing format for class 11th and 12th english writing skills paper first point is do not cross the word limit to avoid penalty of marks the prescribed word limit is 50 words number 2 repetition of any information should be avoided number 3 always enclose the notice in a box make sure you draw the box with a pencil number 4 keep your notice short crisp and to the point number 5 highlight the word notice n o t i c e with capital letter and title also with capital letter it can be either bold or underlined 
Sixth point is the title should be captivating and eye-catching. Seventh, do not make hypothetical information and facts. Make use of what's, what is given in the question. Number eight, make sure you do not mention your personal information. It means that you have not to write your own name. Whatever the name is given in the question paper, you have to write it. Okay. Now number nine is make use of all the available information in the question. Number ten, your answer shall include answers to all the five W's means what, why, when, where, and who. So five W means that five questions. Okay. What, why, when, where, and who. Number 11 is the purpose for which it is being written should be stated clearly. It means uh, what is the purpose of writing notice must be mentioned very aptly, very vividly. And last point is focus on presentation and clarity. So these are the tips and by following these above tips, I am sure that all the students will be able to write a perfect notice, good notice because this is very a scoring question and you would be able to score 100% in this question so thank you students